in this session we are going to see big data lab program number 3 big data analytics lab program number 3 vtu 22 22 scheme students <coughs> csc students develop a map reduce program for my uh, that mines weather data and uh, displays the appropriate messages indicating the weather conditions of the day See in this one, I have created one folder named as B2 on desktop and it has files CSV and weather.csv. See the content of weather.csv file. See your date, temperature, and your weather. Okay. And this is Java map reduce code for weather weather mining. That is weather data pro processor. See this is complete code. You can get this from Google or you can get this in my description. You can download it from there. This is the folder. Uh, this is text file. These are the commands which we are going to run for executing the third program of Big Data Analytics. I will just make it small. Okay, now let's start our Hadoop. For this, for that, open command prompt. Run it as administrator. Firstly, we are going to format our name node. For that command is hdfs space name node space hyphen format. Enter. Y. Enter. See your name. See your name node is formatted now. Name has been successfully formatted. Now cd slash change directory to our Hadoop where we have installed our Hadoop. cd in Hadoop has been then let's start the demands command is start hyphen all dot cmd press enter this will start Hadoop demands make sure to minimize them do not close them let's check the active demands data node is not working To start data node, just uh, navigate to your data node domain. See, this is data node domain. It has shut down. Scroll it. You will get here name node cluster ID. Just copy it. Select it. Control plus C. Minimize. Open your file manager. File explorer. C drive. In that temp, in that Hadoop, your particular Hadoop admin or else your particular operator name will be given, Hadoop hyphen your name. In that DFS, under DFS data, under data current, under it version is given, version file is there. Right click it, edit in notepad. Line number 3, here CA ID, cluster ID is given, just remove it and paste the code.
copied cluster ID. Save it, control plus S. Close it, close it. Again open your data node domain and just type and uh, exit and enter. It will be exited. Then again stop all. Stop hyphen all dot cmd to stop all the domains. It will close all domains. Check JPS. Domains are closed. Again to start all domains, type start hyphen all dot cmd. Press enter. Minimize all the domains. JPS enter. See now all the nodes are working pop properly. <coughs> Let's start with the execution from now. Let me ch firstly check which directories are present in my Hadoop cluster. DFS, sorry, HDFS, DFS space ls space slash. You have nothing is present. If any anything is present, it will show you. Now let's start with the creating one directory. Here I am creating hdfs dfs space ls space slash bda3. Enter. No such file or directory. Okay command is wrong to create hdfs dfs mkdir hyphen mkdir then slash bda3 ok this will show executed then check dfs hdfs dfs space hyphen ls space slash now bda3 is created see here bd3 bda3 is created now just let me open the commands you can get these commands in description See here, we have started all domains, then JPS to see the domains, then to check which directories are present to list out, then we have made a new directory, then again we have viewed our directory list, now copying weather.csv file from our local host to Hadoop cluster, we have created this, so I am just copying this command. Select it, Control plus C, <coughs> paste it, and press enter. You can select your directory and make sure the weather.csv file is present in the that directory, particular directory. Then let's compile this Java code that is weather data processor dot Java file. Just I am copying that command and executing here, pasting it and running it. See, there is no error. That means we have compiled the Java code to see it just open that folder see here weather mapper dot class file is created weather reducer class file is created weather data processor dot java file class is created and this where are existing existing files in the folder so we have create uh, we have cr uh, created these three of the class files using 
java c command now let's create jar file using this command control plus c copy control v make sure to add this dot at the end if you miss this dot then it will not execute properly press enter see 70 percent added manifest let's check again the folder see a jar file is created then next command to run the hadoop uh, to to get jar file from the local uh, local host into the hadoops cluster and saving its output as weather underscore output so just control c from here select the code copy paste and press enter this may take some time make sure the path and the file names are correctly typed if you are typing or else copy and paste the same command edit your path and your file names now next let's see what ever what are things have been generated on my hadoop cluster for that command is hdfs dfs space hyphen ls space slash this will show see here weather underscore output has been created and let's check bda lab uh, bda3 directory hdfs dfs space hyphen ls space slash bda3 enter the content present in bda3 directory there is weather.csv file now let's check this weather underscore output for that hdfs dfs space ls space slash weather underscore output enter make sure spelling must be same if you are using lowercase then use lowercase uppercase then uppercase see now within that there are two of the uh, output files generated that is one success and other is part r000 to uh, see this content in it i am going to just type the command hdfs dfs space hyphen cat space slash weather weather hyphen output slash part hyphen r hyphen zero 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 make sure you are typing as it is then press enter see this is our final output in this java code we are we are see uh, uh, giving the message that is if see here in this code we are giving the uh, giving a message weather message if there is a snow then snowy day else if condition uh, is given if storm then stormy weather stay safe condition if rain then rainy day if temperature is greater than 30 hot day if temperature is less than 10 cold day else whether uh, temperature uh, lies other than these two values then moderate weather will be printed as the message weather message see here hot day means 
temperature greater than 30 with a moderate day oh sorry moderate weather that is other than those two temperature conditions rain means rainy day this all messages have been respectively provided this is our lab 3 execution to close all the demands type stop hyphen all dot cmd enter this will close all the demands then press uh, then type exit enter to close the command prompt thank you for watching